fifth installment of the Lumion tutorial series is now available. Remember to click the subscribe button to get the most up-to-date information on all of our videos. The fifth tutorial in the series will go over how to add objects to your project, change materials, and manage everything in general. Let's take a look at how to incorporate objects into this project. Lumion Content Library contains a large number of objects ranging from categories such as trees, cars, furniture, animated 3D people, and many more. This amounts to over 6,900 objects. To add an object, navigate to the Content Library tab and select the desired object category. In this case, I've selected the People and Animals category. The objects are further filtered into smaller categories near the top of the People and Animals library. When you click on one of the thumbnails, it will take you to a collection of objects. Click to continue with the object placement. To make changes to the object before placing it, you can use a variety of shortcuts. To rotate an object, press and hold the R key. Other shortcut keys are displayed on the right side of the screen. You can still make changes to the objects after the placement is complete. Check that you've chosen the correct category for the object you want to edit, which in this case is one of the cars. Click the Select button to move the object. When it comes to moving an object, you have four options. After selecting a movement option, click and drag on the car's circle button to move it. You can also edit the object's properties in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You can change the color of an object by using the RGB option or the RAL color picker. We could also make use of the sliders that are available. Click the rotate button to rotate the object. To manually rotate the object, click and drag on the circle button. You could also use the sliders under the orientation area to adjust the object's rotation. Click the scale button to scale the object. To increase or decrease the size of the object, click and drag on the circle button. You can also use the sliders beneath the size area to change the size of the object. Layers can be created and used to properly organize the large number of objects in a project. To see your layers, move your cursor to the top of your screen. Click the Add Layer button to add a new layer. To rename a layer, select it and then click again to bring up the Rename Layer box. Fill in the blanks with the name you want. To move an object between layers, Use the Properties panel to select the object and the layer to which you want to move it. To make a layer invisible, click the Hide Layer icon located on the layer. If you want to use your own object, double-click on the Imported Models button, followed by the Import New Model button. Select the object that you want to import. You can change the name of the object and also create a new folder to house it. If you want to find your object, click on the thumbnail of the appropriate folder. The following section of this video will go over how to apply materials to our objects. Lumion Material Library contains a large number of materials ranging from wood, glass, 3D grass, stone, concrete, and many more. This amounts to approximately 1,300 materials. To apply a material to a surface, Navigate to the Materials tab, and double-click a surface, to bring up the Material Properties panel on the left side of your screen. To return to the Material Library's home page, click the Material Library button. To see more material options, go to the Outdoor Material category. Double-click on the material you want to use. The Color, Relief, Reflectivity, Gloss, Displacement, and map scale of the selected material can all be changed.
There are also additional options for performing enhanced edits on the materials. To add your own material, double-click a surface and select the Material Library button. Select the New Material category and then the Standard Material. To load all of the necessary maps, click the Choose Color Map, Normal Map, Gloss Map, and Displacement Map button. You can now change the appearance of the material to your liking by using the available sliders. Click the menu button and select Save Material to Custom Materials option to save this material. Next. Give your custom material a name. Your custom material will now be found in the Material Library's Custom Materials category. This concludes the fifth installment of the Lumion tutorial series. By subscribing to our channel, you can keep an eye out for our next video. We'll see you in the next tutorial.